Hey guys, I've got a popular application to show you today. It's called Ift or If This Then That. And the best way to describe what this does is it allows you to connect web applications together using recipes. So things like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you can connect those all together and it can do things automatically for you. Now, you probably don't have a clue what I mean. I don't blame you. It's kind of hard to explain what this does. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you. So if we open up the app, you can see the abbreviation If This Then That. This first page is just a feed of what Ift has been doing for you, but if you swipe to the right, you'll get the recipes, and that's just another word of saying the tasks you have it set to do. So let's take the third one for example. I think that explains exactly what the application allows you to do and what it's capable of. You can see if Facebook, then Twitter. Now, of course, you will have to actually allow uh, Ift to actually kind of use your Facebook and Twitter. You'll have to log in and allow permissions, but you can see if you read the small print, when Facebook profile picture changes, update Twitter profile picture. So it's gonna do that automatically for you when you change your Facebook picture. So it's a little bit like Tasker for Android, but it allows you to do it using web services, which is pretty cool. Now, one of my favorite ones is the top one right here. If Android police posts an APK file, push me the link to download, and I've got that set via push bullet. So I don't even have to check the website anymore. As soon as Android police posts an APK file, I get a notification on my phone with the download link and I can download it very quickly. Now, there's loads of different ones to choose for. If you press the glasses here, you've got collections, featured, trending, and all time. Now, it's not actually just limited to web services. You can actually use certain uh, you know, things on your device. You can use certain aspects of your device. So for example, you can unmute my phone when I get home. So it's gonna use the location, and then you can unmute the ringer. Of course, you can set your home location to whatever you want. And then when you get into that vicinity, it's gonna go ahead and unmute your ringer. Same deal, you can use the Google Calendar. As soon as you have a meeting, you can have it mute your phone automatically during meetings. So there's loads of different ones to choose for, but the real main pull of this application is the web services, and there's loads of cool ones you can actually have. You can use any of these. These are the ones people have made that people have find, you know, found popular or anything like that. For example, this one right here, download new Facebook photos you're tagged into Dropbox. So as soon as you're tagged in a photo on Facebook, it's going to automatically download that picture to your Dropbox. You won't even have to do anything. It's going to do it all automatically, which is really awesome. And there's loads of different ones you can choose for. You can go ahead and search as well. Of course, you can make your own as well. I'm just gonna show you how to do that. So if we press the plus, you can see it says, if then you have to pick something, then and then something else. So if we pick something, I don't know, we'll pick, um, what shall we pick here? You can see all the different services that you can actually use, there's loads. We'll try Instagram, because that's kind of an interesting one. I haven't activated that, so I'll show you what this does. So you've got all these different things you can do with Instagram. So let's pick uh, a new photo by specific user. So if we press the, uh, the add button here. It's gonna say you need to activate this channel, so you will actually need to uh, you know, input your details for Instagram. I'm just gonna quickly do that once this comes around. Okay, so that's activated. Next up, we have to pick an Instagram username, so we'll just choose one that I know. I'm gonna press next. So now we actually need to set it to do something. So you could use any web service. For example, you could have it download the image to Dropbox. You could have it send you a notification, but I'm actually gonna do something with the Android device. So we'll go to Android device. This is perfect, update device wallpaper. So we're gonna hit plus here. And that's it, hit finish. So when that person posts a new picture via Instagram, it's gonna automatically update my wallpaper. So that just, that just kind of explains what you can actually do with that. There's loads of possibilities. You can add loads of different things. There's loads, so many different services you can have here. And I, I don't even make my own because they're all pretty much in the trending and all time, the ones I like. There's hundreds of different recipes already created by users that just work really well. So if we check out the uh, all time favorites, back up my contacts to a Google spreadsheet, not something I would specifically use, but it's there if you want. Um, you can see if it's gonna rain tomorrow, you can get an Android notification. It does also work for iOS. You can see here there's some iOS ones, save my iOS photos to Dropbox, loads of different things. It also works on your desktop as well. You just have to log into the Ift website. So it's not specifically just for Android. So I hope I've explained that well. It's kind of a difficult application to actually explain, but I hope you guys get the picture. So yeah, I've really been enjoying it. Let me know what you guys think. Peace out.